The lives of these two innocent children from Festus are being remembered tonight as that community continues to mourn their loss. Their mother is now charged with the murders of both children. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live outside Festus City Hall tonight where a memorial continues to grow, Jeff. And Mandy, there was a vigil tonight for the victims. Uh, family members asked us to give the community privacy for that. So instead, we want to show you what is being uh, happening out here outside City Hall. You can see some of the items people have been dropping off, uh, stuffed animals, uh, flowers, very personal messages uh, written on cards as this community continues to share their grief and honor the memory of the victims. A friend of nine-year-old Scarlett Parmalee sharing flowers and a cross. Friends say the nine-year-old was so full of life. Oh my gosh, she would come running in. She was so excited to see us. She would give us the biggest hugs. Her former gymnastics coach recalling how excited Scarlett was after each accomplishment. She was just so sweet, so sweet. The Festus School District called her caring, compassionate, and eager to please. There are GoFundMes for the families of both children. Police say Ashley Parmalee confessed to drowning her two-year-old son Isaac and shooting her daughter Scarlett before turning herself into police. We spoke with several friends who say there were no signs the mother was in distress. I think again, they're still just uh, very in shock about it and disbelief. The older brother of one of Scarlett's friends tells us this tragedy has touched everyone. Oh, I've been crying a lot, seeing my sister so upset and I don't know how someone can do something so bad. I don't know. For now, placing messages at this memorial and sharing memories are what's helping this community cope. My sister had a lot of good memories with her. Uh, she's not taking it very well, but she has written cards. She says she'll always be her friend. Trusting that she's in heaven with her brother and everything's going to be okay. And today, the announcement of first-degree murder charges and armed criminal action from St. Francis County, where investigators say the daughter was shot, the mother charged with second-degree murder in Jefferson County, where they say that son was drowning. Reporting from Festus, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.